The third way of preparing yourself for advanced pitches is probably the most important. Preventing injuries, and maintaining shoulder health, and evening out the strength between the two shoulders. Before you pick up a ball, every practice day, every game day, let's first do arm circles. Either no balls in your hand, one ball in your hand, or two in both hands. Arms out to the side, keep your chin up, keep breathing, start doing small arm circles. Make sure they're symmetrical. They're the same forward as they are backwards and the same up as they are down and slowly get bigger and bigger and bigger and then slowly get smaller. Do about 20 each direction. 20 as you get bigger and then 20 as you get smaller. After the arm circles, we want to use the J-bands. J-Bands come in two different strengths. J-Band Junior is for athletes 13 and under, and the original J-Band 14 and up. I have mine attached to the wall, but the clips are mainly meant to be attached to a fence. This is a 10 exercise routine that you should do before every workout and before every game to get a deep stretch in the rotator cuff. Over the years, I see so many students. I do see injuries from time to time. Well, these kids go to a physical therapist, and they give them a set of exercises to do, and then I ask them, what are they doing? They all seem to be doing the same set of exercises. So, why don't we do these in the first place and try to prevent injuries? So that's when I came across the J-Bands and the 10 exercise routine. You are trying to warm up the rotator cuff and protect the rotator cuff. It only takes a very small amount of tension to work out that muscle. Too much tension is incorrect because then you're going to be recruiting the wrong muscles and using your chest or your body to move and that's incorrect. All right, first one. J-band is hip height. I've got the cuffs on both arms, getting a nice lunge position, arms straight up, and I bend back to up. Back to up. Watch kids on this one because they like to flare their elbows out. They like to touch their hands. They like to come way past keeping the elbows quiet. They can move forward a little bit. All right, I'm going to do start with 15 and I work my way up to 25 reps. Number two, staying in my lunge. I lean to one side and sort of pull on that right arm. Lean to the other. Pull with that left arm. That was 10 second holds, 3 second holds, and then I'm going to go back and forth. Back and forth. Alright, and you would do 15 back and forth. Number 3. Feet nice and wide, arms out to the side, slight elbow bend. My hands are slightly below my shoulders. Pull to the front. That seems a little easy, so I'll come up, increasing the tension. I keep going until I've done 15 to 25. Don't let kids go past, even with their body. At this point, I'm going to turn around, face the fence, hands together in front, and pull back. I pull back even with my body, not past. Okay, the first four exercises were for both arms. The next ones, I take it off my non-throwing arm. I'm now sideways to the fence. Left arm goes in your armpit, right elbow in front of that hip bone, Arm at a 90 degree angle, relax the hand, and I pull across, pull across, pull across. Make sure kids stay still with that elbow. At this point, I hug myself, turn around, and now pull this way. Same exercise, opposite direction. They want to pull even with their body and stop. I've got my band lined up straight with the wall. 
I love this one. This is the external rotator cuff. The two muscles responsible for decelerating the arm. They get torqued when we do not have a smooth follow through. Okay, next two exercises. I move the bands. Shoulder height facing this way again. Supporting the elbow with my non-throwing arm. Elbow in front of my shoulder. Bring it down. Bring it down. This is the internal rotator cuff. Okay, I've done my 15 to 25. I turn around. Lift. Lift. That's a good one. Lift. The last two exercises, I move the bands down to shin height. Now I'm going to be doing reverse throwing motions, which basically looks like our windmill. The non-throwing shoulder stays entirely still while I do this. Palm stays forward, getting a nice stretch through that windmill. The last exercise, take the band off, recuff it, fingers on the inside, facing this way, hands together, break up, overhand throw. Together, down and up. Overhand throw. Oh, nice arm through the slot, getting a nice stretch through that throwing motion. This workout does not fatigue your muscles. It warms them up, gives you a nice deep stretch. So therefore, you should do it every day.